This video is an introduction to the project to design and build an ultra-wide band radar system for through-wall imaging. The project is being carried out by Patrick Feely and Brad Pulver, and is being advised by Dr. Frank Merritt. The first component of our system is an antipodal Vivaldi antenna. This antenna consists of two exponentially flared planes, and is fed by an impedance match strip line. This strip line is fed through an SMA7 coaxial connector with a characteristic impedance of 50 ohms, which is matched to the impedance on the antenna and the control board. The control board is one of the main components of the radar system. It consists of an FPGA, an analog to digital converter, following a sample and hold circuit, pulse generation circuitry, a variable delay line, and the required power and programming circuitry. At the center of this board is the FPGA circuitry. This circuitry will be responsible for controlling the transmission of pulses, as well as processing received data and displaying it to the LCD screen. The delay line circuitry can be seen directly above the FPGA. This circuitry consists of two clock skew ICs with variable delays ranging between 2.2 and 12.2 nanoseconds. These ICs are controlled from the FPGA and have a resolution of 10 picoseconds. To the left of the FPGA is the power and programming circuitry. This consists of several linear regulators and a JTAG interface for programming the FPGA. At the bottom of the control board, you can see where an LCD screen will be attached to display information to the user. The right side of the board consists of the connections to the antennas as well as the analog to digital sampling circuitry. Here you can see that the strip line connections to the antennas are much wider than most traces on the board. This is to match the characteristic impedance of the antennas and their transmission lines. When this project is complete, it will be able to detect objects through solid barriers in one dimension. 